The state of California runs a $330 million annual tax credit program through the California Film Commission. Intended to incentivize filmmakers to produce their projects in the Golden State, the third iteration of the program, 3.0, is set to run from July 2020 to June 2025. While Gavin Newsom locked down K-12 public schools, forcing students into remote learning from home, two harmful television series were airing. Funded with 94.2 million, 13 Reasons Why, seasons 1 through 4, received $45.8 million in reserve tax credits. The NIH linked the television series to a spike in teen suicide. Euphoria, the pilot and seasons 1 through 3, received $48.4 million in reserve tax credits. The television series came under fire as soft porn for teenagers, glamorizing sex, violence, and drug use in a high school setting. And although the governor and his wife, Jennifer Siebel Newsom, have made teen mental health a top public concern, neither spoke out against either series. But that's not surprising when you follow the money. 13 Reasons Why was distributed by Netflix and produced by Paramount. Euphoria was distributed by HBO and produced by Warner Brothers Discovery. All were companies with executives that massively funded the Newsom campaigns. In total, Governor Newsom or his unaffiliated anti-recall committee received at least $4.1 million in donations from entertainment companies, their executives or employees since 2018. Those six companies collectively received $722 million in reserve tax credits since 2020. In California, at arm's length, pay-to-play is legal and there are no statewide prohibitions on campaign donations from state vendors or tax credit recipients. In January 2023, Gavin Newsom proposed extending the program for another five years at $330 million per year, a total of $1.65 billion. Newsom signed that extension in July. And for all the facts and figures, visit OpenTheBooks.com.